got a uh, Harbor Freight electric hoist here and the problem I got with it is the remote cable they give you is only five and a half feet long which if I want to operate this hoist and I'm 20 feet away I don't have enough length to be right next to it or wherever I'm the material I'm hoisting anyway I want to lengthen it so the way you do this is uh, go to your local electric supply store and get SJ cord and it's it's service cord it's a uh, pretty much everything you see on extension cords is what they use here they use SJT um, for their cord and SJT is service uh, cord junior means 300 J means junior 300 volts and the T means thermoplastic is what the outer jacket is I kind of got what all the different uh, letter designations is for service cord also known as portable cord um, everyone's gonna have service junior you can get regular service cord without the J in it it just means it's rated for like a higher voltage junior means that up to applications of 300 volts which is what we're using here um, I went ahead and got SJ um, E double O W so mine's an elastomer jacket which means um, it's a whole lot more flexible so I can do that real easy in this it it's not as easy to do that um, it's also more oil resistant I got the double O so the out, outside and the inner jacket are both oil resistant and it has code W which also means it's uh, weather weather and uh, water resistant um, so overall probably just a better quality um, cord uh, for replacing this uh, the one that comes with this is the 224 40 pound um, electric hoist which is the the cheapest one it's like a hundred bucks usually and it comes with 18 4 which means 18 gauge four conductors uh, I went ahead and got 16 gauge since I'm extending it this is not a control line I mean you have full load coming through it you got uh, when you open this up and you're getting ready to switch it out you can see where the hot line goes straight into the terminal block and out through here and then you even have your motor startup uh, capacitor so this is pretty much it's like a built-in extension cord that goes into the unit comes back out and goes back into it so you need to gauge your wires on your length just like an extension cord this is like four and a half amps um, 16 gauge is fine for an extra 30 feet, but you know, there's those charts for extension cords Make sure you use them look up the amperage for your unit and how much you're going to be extending this to and Use that to gauge what it is and 16 gauge is just a hair bigger. So I should be able to to use these same uh, grommets on both of these uh, another thing I'll tell you is um, a lot of people I've seen, I think I've read somewhere on the Garage Journal where somebody made the recommendation of just getting 14.3 or 16.3 Romex because they said, oh, hey, it's got four wires in it. You know, that should work. That's stupid because the ground is uninsulated in that. The reason that it says three and not four is because there's only three actual load carrying conductors in it. And that's because all three of those are insulated. The ground is not. It's just bare copper. So if you want to catch your house on fire, yeah, go ahead and use Romex. But if you want to do it the right way, use portable cord, you know, SJ cord. Um, SJ cord is real cheap. If you go to your local uh, electrical supply, don't go to Home Depot, don't go to Lowe's because they will not have a four conductor, uh, 16, 18 gauge SJ cord. I had to go to my local um, electrical supply center and they actually they don't even carry it they had to actually order from the warehouse um but it was around 56 cents a foot so for 30 feet i got it for like 18 19 bucks which is pretty cheap you if home depot even remotely carried something similar it'd probably be like a dollar 50 a foot so you're looking at paying like three times the price if you went to a uh, home center but pretty pretty cut and dry just you know take pictures of where all the wires go here 
three of them, I believe, go into the terminal block, and one uh, goes to your uh, safety switch that cuts out when it gets retracted all the way on this one. This one here, get that to, there are, looks like, three female connections you got to make. One, two, three. And one you got to double up on. So you got to do a double. Um, two wires in one terminal. Also, be careful of this bad boy. Um, I checked it for voltage before I even touched anything. I just checked where these two wires went to and checked to see if it had voltage coming out of the capacitor. Because uh, if you, your finger touch these two leads and this may have 120 volts stored into it, uh, into it uh, what I did is, as soon as I unplug the, the hoist unit, just go ahead and flip the switch up and down, up and down a few times, and that should um, discharge the capacitor. But I haven't seen anybody else extending this, uh, or at least showing how to do it, but I, I really don't need to show you how to do it. If you can do basic wiring, you know, you know, just take pictures of this, take pictures of this, swap it out the way it is, just make sure you get the right cord for it. Like I said, I used... S J E double O W is S J or if you get it non J, that's fine. It's just going to cost you a little bit more. I went with the Lastmer one, a little bit more flexible. Uh, the thermoset or I'm sorry, the thermoplastic T variant, which is the one that comes with it, is actually not rated for oil exposure. So I'm using this in my garage. Sometimes I have oil on my hands, everything, you know. Just look at what you're doing with it, where you're going to be located with it. But uh, hopefully this helps somebody out. All right, thanks.